Inquisitor. You read the report? It was unusual. Is he always so blunt? <laughs> yes. Let us begin. work. I've no beef with the Inquisition, but you will not station here. They'll appoint a new divine soon. One will make Good you day. stand up for us instead of protecting your own. Good if day. You empty out the coffers of the Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Poivre has invited us to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Lead the way. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for seeing us, Comte Poivre. The honor is mine. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. Please, tell us what you know. Straight to business, then. After the murder of Lady Montilly's people, I don't suppose I can blame you. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archive. 
contract for life. The House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. Overly complicated assassination plots are part of Orlesian politics, I take it. They're all too common, I'm afraid. The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Paraquettes. But the Du Paraquettes died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Paraquettes were our rivals. They drove the Montelliers from Val Royale. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duties. If the people who wanted your family dead are gone, why are the assassins still after you? A contract is a contract, Inquisitor. Orlesian businesses live and die by their reputations. The entire guild's welfare would be endangered if an agreement was tossed aside on a whim of time or fate. She's quite right, Your Worship. The House of Repose is doing what it feels necessary by its standards. I assume you have a thought or two on this, Josephine? The two paraquets still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a du paraquet could annul the contract on my life. That will take time, Lady Montelier. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to hunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. You're not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. But this is all eh? Even an assassin's world is his bond. Does Comte Boisvert actually exist? Absolutely. The Comte's offer to reveal the killers of Lady Montilly's messengers was genuine. So was his information somehow. A end to be tied up later. The House of Repose has some nerve sending a killer to greet us. Hardly anyone in the League isn't trained for this, Inquisitor. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, Monsieur. Your idea to seek out the Paraquet to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the Guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, my lady. May we conclude with my departure? Go, then. Good day, Your Worship. My lady, I pray we'll never meet again. Well, I didn't think our meeting would end like this. We'll deal with these assassins. I have some thoughts. Let's discuss them back at Skyhold. I'll feel...
Noted bachelor ideas. I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. What's done is done. We must deal with this house of repose before they come again. Yes. Yes, of course. I've tracked down the last two paraquets. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royaux to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify them. It's so like you to take the longest course of action, even when your life is at stake. I assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Liliana, please. I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Royaux? Destroying the original contract will satisfy the guild. I say we do it. But I'm sure my plan will work, Inquisitor. Whatever happens, I'll assign you more guards. The House of Repose won't be idle long. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the Duparakets will solve this. First, we need to perform some favors in Varwayo. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. Dispatch for you. What is it? This may be worthwhile. Country burns their dead, right? Ought to get a fire going in this weather.
Come, lad. I have dried beans and radishes. It's not much, but with this week's salt pork, it makes a meal. Thank you, madam. Ah, the Inquisition. That was generous of you. I do what I can. I am partly to blame for all this. The Red Templars are here because, fool that I am, I sold them my family's quarry. They've taken every worker. We haven't seen them in weeks. And it's not enough. They keep coming, taking more people. And there's nothing I can do to stop them. How could you have sold land to the Red Templars? I didn't know. I swear by Andrache's fire. They look like knights, chevaliers. Such pretty speeches. They said they would reopen the quarry, bring employment and trade back to Sanya. We'd been struggling since the war began. How could I refuse? It was good for a time. People went to work, they were paid. Then they stopped coming home. After that, the Red Templars stopped pretending. What do you mean the Red Templars take workers? People just disappear. First those who worked the quarry, then they took people from their homes. I don't know why. I just prayed they'd leave me and my family alone. <laughs>
after the last fight. Mm. Long exercises. Clearing the stale humors. It's a cue thing. Uh-huh. Hey, some of us have to swing a giant hunk of metal instead of pulling our girlfriend's trigger from the back ranks. Ouch. Too close to home. No, no, that, that was good. I should find some way to work that into my next book. All right, but it was my line. You're gonna credit me in the acknowledgments, right? Inquisitor, 